Here I have y equals the sine of 2x, where the 2 is inside, is part of the argument, I should say, of the sine of x. And I cannot factor a 2 out, by the way. It's stuck in there. And what happens is, as x moves through here, it moves twice as fast. For instance, when it hits pi over 2, 2 times pi over 2 uh, it's, it's actually, is actually pi. So when x is pi over 2, it's actually the sine of pi. So it's moving much faster. And this makes the period shorter. In fact, it makes it half as long. So now our normal 2 pi period is now pi units. And this would be pi over 2. And this would be pi over 4. And this would be 3 pi over 4. It still goes as high as 1 and then down as low as negative 1. But notice that it finishes the period in a lot shorter time. In fact, exactly half the time. Here it is. Well, there it is. Okay. All right. Something like that. Zero to pi. But it's pretty, and it keeps going along in that same manner as you go along. Okay. So um, that's kind of the way that goes. And I'm just searching around here for my eraser. If I don't find it, I'm going to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Here it is right here. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at uh, y equals the cotangent of um, x over 4. Okay, in this one, it's, all, it's actually slowing the thing down, making the period much bigger. So where the, pi would, the, the period would normally be pi, it is now uh, 4 pi in size because it's slowing the x down. When you get to pi, of course, you're only made it to pi over 4. So um, in far, as far as the cosine is concerned. And the way you do this is you say, uh, to figure this whole thing out, you say the new period that you're going to have if, with a period change is going to equal the old period. OK, divided by a where you're looking at y equals some trig function, I'll call it trig, of ax. And here the a is 1 fourth, so if you put 1 fourth over pi, it will give you uh, 4 pi. Write this thing down. New period equals old period over a, where you're talking about y equals trig, any trig function, of a times x. Okay. Now let's graph this uh, cotan. And actually, it's quite easy to work with a period change because you just draw the basic wave, but you don't mark anything. And we know our basic wave of the cotan, you know, the fundamental wave here looks like this, doesn't it? And once you have it graphed, then you say, well, this is 4 pi, okay? This is 2 pi, and this, of course, is 0. And, of course, we do the same thing at negative 2 pi here. It would be... Uh, zero, and it would do this, wouldn't it? And have another vertical asymptote, etc. But this is the basic cotan function. Now you can also combine them all, you know, and make a very complicated deal. You can do something like uh, y uh, equals negative two times the cosine of, of, of say, uh, x over three plus one. Okay. And what this does, this does everything. It tips it upside down. It makes it go up 2 and down 2 instead of the normal 1. It lowers it down 1 unit, and the period's been changed. And so let me show you how you can handle that pretty easily. You have to handle the, um, the fact that it's raised up 1. And that, so I'm going to put a, a fake axis here. Call that x hat, okay? So this is 1. And we know it's going to go down um, two units. So it's going to go down as low as negative one and uh, two and go as high as three. And then I'm going to have this divided into four parts. Regardless of what the period actually is, it's going to be, have four divisions. I'm going to put them here. Okay. And then I'm going to realize it's an upside down uh, cosine. So instead of going like this, it's going to start down here. It's going to go here, it's going to go up here, it's going to go here, and then finally all the way down 
to here. So it's going to look like this. It's going to, it looks like the basic Cotan wave, doesn't it? Let me see if I can get this right. Yeah, there we go. And a little bit. So that looks like the ba basic Cotan wave. Now, how far is this? Well, this is old period, which is 2 pi, okay, divided by A, right? 1 third. And that equals 6 pi, doesn't it? So this is 6 pi right here, and this is 3 pi. And this is 3 pi over 2, and this is um, 9 pi over 2. Oh, I'm sorry, did I get that right? 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2, um, and then uh, 3 pi over 6 pi over 9 pi over 2. That's what this one is, is 9 pi over 2. And that's negative 2. Notice it goes up, it goes up 2 and down 2, okay, from, when it starts on 1, it goes up to 3 and down to negative 1. It's tipped upside down and it has a new period, 6 pi, and, uh, but there's the cosine, there's the basic wave for the cosine.